Improvements have been made to the impedance measurement function for system diagnostics and PowerShare X amplifiers. This feature measures the output load impedance across the 20 to 20,000 Hz frequency range, and it can be stored as a reference. You can then take measurements to test against the reference later. The load measurement can't pinpoint the cause of a problem in a loudspeaker, but it can indicate that a problem exists between the output of the amplifier and the transducer. Let's take a look at the updated user interface and testing procedure. Right-click on an output block within a PowerShare X amplifier and select Measure Load. The measurement section of the control panel now includes access to the amplifier's internal pink noise generator, and new averaging parameters can smooth out the impedance versus frequency graph. When making a reference measurement, start with the default setting of four samples. This means the displayed graph will be the average of four samples taken at 40 second intervals. We also recommend starting with the threshold at its default setting of 0.4. The threshold is an indication of the quality of trace. Raising the threshold when there is sufficient signal can reduce the noise in the measurement. Mute any transducers not being measured. Turn on the pink noise and it will be routed to the selected channel. Set the level as appropriate for your loudspeakers and environment and click Start Monitoring. A progress bar will display and the count will increase as each measurement is taken. You may see gaps in the graph early on, but these will typically fill in as more samples are included in the average. Once the max number of samples are reached, the oldest samples are discarded as new samples are added. To include more samples in the average, simply increase the max sample value. If you find there are still gaps present in the impedance versus frequency graph, you may need to raise the pink noise level or lower the threshold. If the graph is complete but not smooth, you could try increasing the threshold. In either case, you will need to click Reset to discard the current average and retake the measurements. Unfortunately, there's not a set of values that works for every installation. With a satisfactory reference curve captured, click Stop Monitoring and turn off the pink noise. You may then store this in the reference and save as a data file. Repeat this process to create reference measurements for additional output channels. Use the channel dropdown to switch channels. Test curves can be produced when you're ready to make subsequent measurements. With a reference curve loaded for a channel, repeat the same steps to generate a test curve. For accurate results, averaging threshold and pink noise parameters should be set to the same values used when creating the reference curve. As measurements are being made, a test curve will be drawn over the reference. A test curve that closely resembles a healthy reference curve indicates there are no issues between the output of the amp and the loudspeaker. Anything else indicates a severed connection or issue with the transducer. You may store and or save as the test curve to make comparisons while performing system diagnostics. That's it for this look at the improved impedance measurement function in PowerShare X amplifiers. Update to Control Space Designer 5.15 today to take advantage of the updated feature. Thanks for watching.